the Pokemon Center's gone and it's replaced, but... Where's the, it's the Deoxys 1% form? Where's the heckin' Mart? Hey lady, can I buy some Pokeballs off you? You look like a zombie, but I'm gonna talk to you anyway. A new body for me! Oh, yep, they all battle you, apparently. Christ, level 16 Dirt Crow. Holy shit! Ziggs Gun can't take nothing. Good lord. No! Peck does over half to everything! <laughs> what do? We have Rock Team on this. You got a catch ball on though? Of course. Of course. Oh! It does use Pursuit! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Dirt Crow. <sighs> How many Pokemon do you think Pursuit has killed in Nuzlocke's worldwide? Just wanted some Pokeballs, lady. For real. Damn it, man. That Packy does a lot. This no, I missed. What the hell? My first Rock Tomb missed. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, when it lived. What the fuck? We do drop its speed, which is nice. Um, damn it, though, man. Oh, but... Fuck. I didn't think that it would come to this. I really honestly thought my Rock Tomb would kill it. Um, but this is not good at all. It's... You think I'm faster now that I, now that I got a speed drop? <laughs> I can't risk a switch. Oh, god damn it. It's just going to keep clicking Pursuit, too. Fuck. I think if I use regular potions, I could stall out the PP. Fuck, why is it just now clicking Pursuit, man? This is not good, boys. I didn't even need to come in here. I hate these fights so much that the ones that are like, you didn't even need, I didn't need to do that. <gasps> Astonished, too. Christ. Um. <sighs> do we think I'm faster? I got a speed drop on it. We hate Dirt Crow here. All of my homies, we hate Dirt Crow. Uh, so let's see, how much HP was Pursuit doing? We can live another Astonish if that's what it decides to click, which if it's Astonished, it might be out of Pursuit. I think Pursuit's only like five. Um, I think I click Rock Tomb here and end it. We are faster and we get the rock tomb off and kill it. Good lord. Blast you with hellfire. Blast you with hellfire, lady. What did my, what did, what did Johnson ever do to you? God damn it. I really liked that wingle too. Route 116, we get an encounter here. There's also the Whismer Cave where we can catch something as well. Roy plays games with another gift sub. Thank you, man. 80 total on the channel, I appreciate it. <gasps> Halo, boys, first encounter on this route is a young Taylor Swift. You know what we do to those? We catch them, and then they usually end up dying somehow in Nuzlocke's, but that's fine by me. Plus, yeah, I mean, it's only level nine, so maybe. Fish, absolutely. Um, okay, so my team is getting pretty thin here. I really need to catch this thing, but how do I do it without killing it? Uh, it Gray's a lot higher level, so I can stun spore you. Focus energy is not what we really like to see. Um, I could uh, just throw balls now and maybe just give it a whirl here. Is it guts? Press rock to him. That's a great idea. God, I hate that there's no click. Check it. Edit in the click sound that when the pokeball catches. Because, damn it, man, it bothers me. Taylor courageously stands in. Stand, stands its ground against. My I'm really good at reading. This gutsy Pokemon will, will remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. Same, brother. Same. Let's take a look at it and see what nature we got. Serious. And it does have guts. So that's kind of cool. Comes with peck built in. Pretty heckin' sweet. Continuing over this way, we have some zombies to heck up. I think some of these guys might be scary, but, well, he doesn't even battle you. Maybe you do if I talk... Used to be a zombie, but either Glaze or Dantalion has nailed it to the floor with its own amputated arm. Gross. Well, you don't battle either. It was once a zombie. Yep, it removed all of its bones through its nose, and now it can't move. How in the f how would that even look? It removed all of its bones through its nose. 
What the hell's even going on here? I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Repel. That's kind of cool. This is definitely going to battle me, right? Nope, just kidding. Buried its feet in the earth and cut off its hands. Now it's stuck and wobbles in a comical manner. <laughs> I kind of like that one. All right. Cool. Um, we do have a cave, so we have a new encounter coming up as well. This is once a zombie, but Glaze torn its face off and tied its brain to a tree root. And you know it was Glaze who did it because its head is covered in face leech spit. God. Freaking gross. This karate dude's like, yep, not much has changed in my life here. I just do my karate by my front door and have a good time doing it. Never mind. It's a demonic creature like a snail, except it uses this man's corpse as a shell. It looks like it's going to move very, very slowly. Okay. It's certainly written by an edgy 14-year-old, and I love it as well. Uh, this guy over here looks like he's on a damn mission. What's up, bro? Are you Hayden? Uh, yeah, yes. The Italian servant of the one you call Glace. Right, I didn't recognize you. You changed bodies. Yes, I have. What do you think of this one, by the way? Does it suit me? <laughs> sure. Thanks, anyway. The master has instructed me to remain outside and keep a lookout. He wants you to go inside. I shouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. Thanks, sir. Okay. Give me a grinder, because this text too edgy. <laughs> Um, Alright, so we're gonna head in there and we're gonna get a new encounter. How many Pokeballs am I down to now? Se seven. Okay, we'll be alright. That's totally fine. Is it Whismers you still find in here? I really want to find my first zombie thing that I can catch. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, first encounter on this route is gonna be, you guessed it, in the Whismer cave. It's our favorite pink little fella, Whismer. Um, okay, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. We're going into gray as this thing just sings me a song. It's a shitty song because it doesn't do very much damage. We stun Spore you. And uh, now we throw a ball. Whisper is not a bad mod. I remember we we definitely used an Explode in my first run of this game, right? There's the Whisper with the unsatisfying click or lack of click. Normally, Whisper's voice is very quiet. It's barely audible, even if one is paying close attention. However, if this Pokemon senses danger, it starts crying at an ear-splitting volume. Let's see what we've got here. It is soundproof with Impish, uh, which is cool, I guess. That's our new fellow there. Here we've got ourselves a Pokeball. Does anybody know if there's like a scary battle or anything that happens in here? Because what happens in this game is you'll be cruising right along, minding your damn business, and then all of a sudden, boom, level way higher than you, legendary thing that you don't know the type of, and it hurts you. But I think we're probably good. You arrived just in time. Come over here and we'll talk further. So there hasn't been many battles since we did the battle with Homeboy right here. So we, we can't be expected to be that much higher level, right? Oh god. And I shall tell you. One sets up a suitable vessel for the demons to flow through from the pit. The fucking kid just hacked up a hairball on the fucking ground. She does that like once a goddamn day. Kit. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, what's this guy? I can I can break the spell on her. So this is a demon he's showing us. Uh, so what do I do? When the demons in the pit sense their portal to this world being closed, they will flock toward it in the hopes of getting through before it closes. I need to beat them back before they get through. Eh, okay. Take your position, please. Girl seems kind of familiar. It's my mom, or something. Wait, no, May? She's gone. Is it May? Uh, are you quite alright, Hayden? You appear to be swaying slightly. <laughs> I'm fine. I think it was just a little flashback. I remember who this girl was. She's the cut man's daughter. I remember her. I'm ready to go now. Very well. Begin working on breaking the spell. Watch out, a sense of demon approaching. Uh, so it's funny, do we get to actually battle the demon here? What, what's the- Yes! Holy shit, it's the Groudon guy! It's Brock with a Groudon arm <laughs> or something. Um, you know, it's actually hilarious is you feel like you battle this guy, but doesn't he just send out Pokemon? He just has an Anorith. Just, just a regular old Anorith he's got. <laughs> he probably has a rock move, so let's, uh, switch here and it would be nice if, well, um, hmm. Probably should have healed. And then we go into gray here. I mean, it's gonna have a bug move or something, mate. Now there's no good moves that Anorith can get, right? <laughs> okay, so it hardens. We're just gonna go right for a Mega Drain here. It's gonna harden again. And uh, nothing like battling a, a, a very erect Anorith. <laughs> a couple of Mega Drains should do the job. It just has Scratch, so that's, that's fine. The move sets are just god awful. Couple more Mega Drains and the, the, the Anorith is done. See you later, buddy. What else you got? Is he getting the other fossil? Any more fossil stuff? Nope, just two Anoriths. 
he got, he's like, let's give this crazy demon that looks like Groudon just two Anoraths. That sounds nice. And just Mud Sports. Okay. Mud Sports, one of the most useless moves of all time. We basically just speed Mega Drain the hell out of it. Diem Kara Niyokta. I agree. What did he say? He spoke in Hadean. He said something crude with the general meaning of, I dislike you intensely. He basically said, fuck you. Be careful, here comes another demon. Another demon? We're talking about back-to-back -back demons? And you guessed it. It's another Groudon guy. And he, you guessed it again. It's another Anorith. Hurry up, Glaze. I can't hold him off much longer. I've almost completed the requested, the required spell. Hayden, give me a moment more. There. Done it. What? Ah! And she dead. What just happened? It would appear that she was consumed by the energy released from the ending of the spell. And it is just as well if she had not absorbed it. The energy would have killed us. Good lord. Would have killed us. Thank you for your in invaluable assistance, Hayden. You will meet again someday. Okay. Found that profoundly disturbing. Still, I suppose I didn't... Can't expect driving out demons to be a bed of roses. Now that they're driven out, I should continue my search for my brother in May. Maybe someone in Verdant Turf knows something about them. Perhaps. Indeed. Uh, we can't rock smash over that way, so we're just gonna... Oh! Oh, I remember this part! Yes! Okay, so you, it's not the Verdant Turf you're thinking of. Um, but also, there's just a Charizard just chilling right there. He's gold. What? Hello? Ouch, that hurt. What's with this flashback? They don't usually hurt as much. Ah! <laughs> Uh, the boot is on the other foot now. I knew you couldn't stand against us. And now all that remains is to bid you I'll do. Okay, what the hell was that? It was just a flashback. Must have passed out and fallen down the cliffs. The hell was that? Ew, what are you doing here? You've interrupted me. I'll bring you to my boss. Okay, why is there lava here? This whole city's fucked or something? I remember you're your uh, pestilence. But how do they come up with the names in this? Is that a thing? From where do I know you and why can't I remember anything about you other than your name? You! What are you doing here? I thought you were dead to stay. Am I just watching this go down? Are they talking to me? I don't know. Destroyed along with that deadbeat town. Poor town. You only say you remember my name? Yeah, that's right. Are you okay, so I am talking to him. At least I had some success. I may not have killed you, but with impact, the impact appears to have erased your memory. Needless to say, however, I, Pestilence, the only female member of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, cannot afford any loose ends. <laughs> and, uh oh. We do have a battle here, and Pestilence has three Pokemon with a Molder. I forgot about little Grimer, who's essentially just got a blue tongue, and he's silver now, and red eyes. So that's kind of cool. Garrett, you are smart. Um, we're just going to wing attack it. Luckily, it's only level 16, so not super scary levels. Why is it called Molder? By the way, is that... Holy shit! Okay, that is why Talo is scary, always, to use. <laughs> See him near kill me. Okay, he moldy, I guess, but yeah, look, I mean, I guess he's kind of the color of mold. Well, that was awful. We're just going to go into Arcanal here. And side beam it, which I should have done from the freaking start. Whew. Here comes the boy. <gasps> it's the boy. And I used the speed up button as it was switched in, so it was switched in quickly, if you guys didn't notice. Um, also, it's level 18. Am I safe to side beam it? Look at Ball and Sprite in this is so funny. Like, what they do to my guy? <laughs> um, yeah, let's just side beam. I have faith. He uses, uses Toxic. Toxic on a level 18 Quillfish. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out for him. That boy, Ballin. I cannot wait till we can get our own Ballin. So it lives, quite unfortunately. And now, I'm just going to go for it again. It does Water Gun, but a Water Gun shouldn't kill me. Okay, we're good. Whew. So this is your first introduction to Quillfish in this game, and you don't realize the power that that thing holds within, because it evolves into a sick-ass Quill Shark. Uh, anyway, next is Mulder, and I'm hurt by poison, and that's going to be kind of scary, and knocks me out of 10. Alright, so I'm Toxic Poison, so I probably shouldn't stay in an Arcanal here. Uh, another freaking Mulder, so I don't have, I don't have a great matchups here. Let's just go into Peekaboo. Headbutt will do a decent amount. Physical attacks work decently against against Grimers. We're just going to headbutt you. Can I have a flinch or something? Throw me a bone here. Okay, or, or not. Harden. The thought of Grimer using Harden has always been gross to me. Jesus Christ, man. We are going to light potion. I need to get some regular potions, I'll tell you what. Good lord! Use Harden again or something, maybe. The way he whispers named Nightbot. <laughs> 
It's just gonna keep using... Okay, now it pounds. The next acid kills me, so I'm in a tough spot here, boys. We potion. It then uses acid, so I go from 38 to 18. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a potion on <laughs> this thing this turn. Essentially, I guess, let freaking Zigzagoon go down. I mean, I don't know what the hell else I could do here. I'm, I'm, I'm back. My back's against the wall here, boys. I should have grinded up Nightbot. Just swap into the egg first. Yeah, maybe we go egg. Yeah, we'll see how much it does to egg, because egg can actually probably take less than half. I don't know. Let's go into egg and see what happens. Nightbot's low at two level level. We're going into the Mr. Childs here. Okay, that's... Oh, oh, oh. The egg is defensive, man. Okay, now... Yeah, we have all that damn HP. Now I potion this. Use his acid again. We're safe. Now we go into Arcanal. Kill it with a side beam. Crisis avoided. You've certainly increased in power. Why do you get crazy attacks? Because you're a demon? Okay. Not sweet knife, what? No matter, we shall leave this base for now and build ourselves another one. Come, Alicia. Okay, so now I think that we, we can't go any further... And so now is anything when we get to go toward Dufert or something? Oh, look, you can see Kit just chilling on the table. I'm so sorry, Hayden. I didn't recognize you in that disguise. Please forgive me for attacking you these times, you, those times, but times have changed. I work for the horsemen now, and I can't show you any mercy. I won't fight you this time. Thank God, because I'm about dead over here, lady. Bam, 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 bam. No use. She's not coming back. What is going on here? How do all these people know me? And why can't I remember anything about them? Wait a minute, what's that? Picked up the red thing. That, that's called a poke- was that- what? It's a Pokedex, just kidding. <laughs> I now just have my Pokedex. I... Is this my brother's? He had one, I think. No oh, he had completed this. I seem to remember. May had one and she didn't finish, did she? This is hers. What was Pestilence doing with May's Pokedex? I'd probably stand a, good stand a good chance of finding out if I continue my search. For now, I'll use this Pokedex himself. Oh, the Pokephone is ringing. Hello? 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 So it's Birch, it's me. Listen, I have news for you. Managed to reprogram an old military satellite that have got working connection with Duford Town because it's an island. Appears they're completely unaffected by the plague. See, just move to an island. You don't, COVID's not even a problem. <laughs> Your brother May, brother and May were seen in Duford a few weeks ago. You should go and investigate. How do I get there? Here's the tricky bit. You need an HM surf and a balance badge to get there. I don't know where you can find the HM, but I know there are a couple of survivors from Norman's gym. I think they might have a badge or two laying around. Look for them near Rust Bro and ask. I will do. Oh wait, I can go in here now. This is open. Hello? This man ha has had his brains delicately scooped out through a hole in his skull the size of a ten pence piece. You're beginning to suspect the zombies have an unusual sense of style when it comes to killing people. We'll loot it. We get the gamble fish. How's the gamble fish? Uh, ooh! Doubles the money earned in battles. Fucking pog champ. Oh, you can just go around this way to get to the other. Oh! <laughs> Nobody panic, I've made it. Charger appears to be enjoying the heat here. Okay, for a second, I was thought I was going to say it appears to have its brains pulled out of its nose and its butthole. But no, it's actually, he's fine. Candy corn trash. We're just going to leave that Charizard alone. He's just a good good fellow. Whoa. Uh, and so here we are. Um, this place looks a little sus. We get HMO1. So now, yeah, we can cut stuff. Um, do y'all battle me? Am I gonna be... Am I afraid of these trainers? Some kind of force field this way. It's impossible to pass. I'm Larry the Looter. I looted so much stuff that I have plenty to spare. Oh, Pog, we can buy some shit from him. Ooh, and he's got great balls and super potion, boys. That's that shit that we do like. Also, we do have a prediction for a random coin flip. We'll grab some super potions as well. Let me get eight of them, because why not? And also... Three antidotes, just in case I find myself in a bad poison situation, because you do die from those in this game. Isn't Endless Plains interesting? I came here to visit. I thought for a second that said Endless Pain, and I was like, agreed. Thank you for visiting this place, and please stay within the force field. Okay, so that's all there is here. We take the cut. Now we have the ability to cut, but we have to teach that to somebody, which is stupid. Um, we'll give it a peek blue. How about that, buddy? No tail whip for you. Just cut off your tail. <laughs> how about that? So this is how we get north of this way. We go ahead and karate chop that there tree. And, uh, is this a hard battle? Am I gonna be... Am I gonna be hacked? We got some berries, we'll take these berries. Some bluck berries. Thanks for the blucks. Um, 
I think it's this it's this girl, right? Let's fight this guy first. This dead guy's got a Pokeball on him. Let's see what it is. Contained a magic harp. <laughs> oh, sweet! Oh. I don't have room for it. Well oh shit that let what hello? Lady comes at me with a shrivel sore. Uh okay. Well that's actually fine. We got a good matchup here, plus we're good on level, so. I just can't let this Talo die before it turns into a Swallow, so. I also got poisoned, damn it. Do get to 19 there, trying to learn double team. That's actually not bad. Maybe I'll get rid of Growl. I'll take that free carp though. You best believe we're gonna come back with a free slot. And also here's a charm worm. <laughs> I need a heck and water type is what I need. Um, let's go into Arcanal here. This this Charmeleon actually looks sick though, right? It's like a shiny Charizard, but like with cooler eyes. Okay, smoke screen's annoying as hell. We will go for a nice little rock tomb there, and somehow we hit it through the smoke screen. Okay. Get a speed drop as it growls me. And we're faster. And Rock Tomb kill. Uh, does not kill it just because we got growled. Just kidding. And that one missed. Mega Charmeleon. Super cool Charmeleon, though. D Come on, man. There we go. Arcanal's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. Uh, so that was a good little bit of training there. Glurk. Zombie Crumble the Dust. We're basically saving this Magikarp's life. If you really think about it, we're just adopting this guy. I mean, this Magikarp would forever be stuck inside of that Pokeball. So we'll be your father now. You looted a Magikarp. Why didn't ask me to give it a nickname? What the hell? It comes at level four. With a uh, HMO3. So that's kind of cool. It comes with Surf. Neato. So let's battle this lady here on the beach. Now that we have Surf, she's going to be like, hey, that's cool. You can, you're cool enough to fight me now. I'm the only trainer left alive from Petal Brick Gym. That makes me the gym leader. It means I need to uphold its honor by defeating you. Lady, the gyms don't matter anymore, okay? There's a zombie apocalypse. Just be on your way. Never mind, she's kind of hot. Normal girl Laura. <laughs> Imagine that's what your class is in Pokemon. Normal girl. Well, okay, it's a Zangoose. And this thing's kind of scary because it's definitely going to Swords Dance and kill me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Um. Shit. I think I'm gonna wing attack. For the damage, and it's faster. It leers, though, so that's actually not that bad. Better than if it went for a Swords Dance. A minus one defense, though. Fuck. I'm gonna take too many wing attacks, man. Goes for a quick attack after a leer and a crit kills me. No! <laughs> Taylo, brother, what the hell, man? God damn it. Now, I have to go into Shroomish here. What? Everything kills my Talos! I've never had a Talo survive, ever. God. Uh, we stun Spore here. Fury Cutter, Christ! It's okay. Okay. We got the stun Spore off, now we Mega Drain for damage. <laughs> Alright, Zangu's dead. Um, what else we got? What else we got? A Delcaddy. Okay, so yeah, normal girl, she wasn't kidding, she's got a couple of normal types. We're gonna stun spore that thing as well. God, these things always just attract you. But Shroomish does not love these hoes. Come on, Shroom. You, you, you're not in love, buddy. Better not be immobilized, friend. God damn it. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Effect spore put it to sleep. Hell yeah. I, there, there's a joke to be made there about the pussy putting you to sleep, but that was the pussy that got put to sleep. I don't know. Pretend like I'm funny. Mobilized by love. Now it sings me. Now the pussy put me to sleep. Call it NyQuil. Redeem draw a Pokemon of your choice. Halo fighting Zangos to the death on the back of a Gyarados on the top of a volcano or just Halo. <laughs> It'll be just Halo. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering what's going on, I'd have a, I have a chat redemption deal where you can spend 20,000 chat points to get me to draw a Pokemon that you want me to draw. And it's going to look really bad and we can meme. There you go. There's really nothing that can go wrong here and we've, we're done. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. I, I couldn't win. You sure couldn't. Huff Puff, you've earned this. Go on, take it. So now we've got the balance badge, and we have Surf, and we are just free to go shred some totally sweet Nar, brothers. This badge increases the defense. That's It's spelled incorrectly. Alright, Route 105. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we can get our first encounter. First encounter on this route. 
is going to be one red-haired woman. Isn't the sea great? It's wonderfully zombie-free. <laughs> anyway, this lady has no care in the world. She's like, zombies? Fuck, I just put on my bikini, go swimming in the ocean. Got a level 16 Celio. That's actually an interesting... Interesting mon you've got there. I can't really... Do much to you. You know what? Actually, I, I just realized how much sense it makes for Celio to use Encore. Because the seals always do the, <laughs> the clapping thing. Why did I battle you again? I don't know. Where the hell did you get a Celio? Alright, first encounter on this route. Will it be Balin? Will I be switching into him quickly? Or will there just be another red-haired woman? We're just gonna... Man, there's no fish over here. I got... Oh, alright. First encounter on this route. Can it be a cool fish? Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. <laughs> it is. Yes. This might be... What if... This would be the craziest thing ever. What if this was the exact tile where I found the original quillfish from my old playthrough? Someone go back and watch that and let me know if it is. That's a massive dub. We've got the we've got the ballin, and I do have great balls now. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw balls at it. There must be a full wall of ballins in chat. Hit me with them all. I'm talking about ballin on board, boys. See if it's meant to be. I'm just gonna throw a regular Pokeball at it. Husky, thank you for the hundred biddies, my friend. Ballin wants to come with me. Ah, oh, just kidding. You didn't want to come that bad. That's a hard Ballin right there. Another pro regular Pokeball, perhaps? <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, old friend. We've done it. I wonder what the I wonder what the chances were to find Ballin. I'm, I'm sure it was pretty high. The small spikes covering its body develop from scales. They inject a toxin that causes fainting. If stunned by this Pokemon, immediately consult a doctor. <laughs> Alright, so. We will be giving this thing a nickname. The original... The, the way Balin was born was that I tried to spell Balloon and just hit A one time instead of twice. Uh, <laughs> I literally just... It was supposed to be named Balloon. <laughs> I fucked up. And I didn't realize that I misspelled it until later. And then I was like, oh shit. I misspelled his name, and then I just started calling him Ballin, and then that was just... And then the meme was born. Eight years ago. More than eight years ago. Eight and a, eight and a half years ago, Ballin was born. And now, he's back. Truly a monumental day. Love that Quillfish is called the Balloon Pokemon. And you go, I'm gonna name it Balloon, because it could look like a little balloon. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. That's like the one time I couldn't think of a good nickname, and then it still ended up turning out to be... An amazing nickname. How, holy shit, that's... Okay. Am I in the fucking Elite Four here? Nope, just a guy with a Meowth. Just a pirate. Okay, we're gonna pound that thing. Because we pound the pussy around here. <laughs> I gotta cut it out with that shit. Alright. Also, look at Wismer's uh, butthole. <laughs> it's very disturbing. Hold on. I claim this island. Wait. As Hayden Island. It is mine. It's got a blue rock on it. Uh, a, blue, a pretty blue rock. Magpies love it. What? Magan who's? Let's see what we get for our first encounter here. Maybe it'll be something different that we can find that's not a quillfish. If it's a quillfish, what if we just catch another one? Hello? It is another quillfish. Okay, so just dupes. Can't Fu can escape though. This Nightbot can't run from nothing. I tell you, Wingles and other dupes. Wonder if there's anything new over here. Just quillfish and Wingles. Shit! 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 This guy's name is Peekaboo. What the hell's that? Okay, he's got a quillfish. Oh my god! It's level twenty-four. Why would you? Why would you do this to me? We are still at. Quite a crisis here, considering I'm against a level 24 quillfish. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? I can maybe take an attack with Arcanal and Psybeam it, but like, I can't switch into it. This makes. Like, why would this thing just randomly be a level. such a high level? What the fuck? I'm going into Shroomish. It's very scary here at a level 24, though. Like, what the fuck? It does just water guns. That's good news for us. It doesn't do much with a critical hit. Perfect. Now we Stun Spore. We minimize. You son of a bitch. 
Balin, I love you and I hate I hate you. You little pointy bastard. We land the stun spore. Hold on. I have him right here. Look how cute he is. Um, so we got that. Now can we get Elite Seed off through the Minimize? I don't care how small you are, Quillfish. I'm gonna seed you, buddy. Yes! Okay, there's a chance. I hear seeding and sucking Quillfish. <laughs> like it's my job. Hey, man, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We took care of that. We get to level 20. <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks. What else do you have? An He's got two of them! What the fuck? <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Get fucked. All right. Goddamn, Peekaboo. This guy's a threat. All right. Whew. We've made it to good old Duford Town. And this, is, this, this area is unaffected by the zombie apocalypse. These islanders know what they're freaking doing. They're like, yeah, life hasn't really changed here much, but we can't really go to the grocery store. We've actually entirely ran out of food. It's pretty rough. I'm in constant danger, seriously. But I've, I've survived this long, thankfully. Obviously go grab my boy Ballin so I can switch into him quickly here soon. Let's take a look at this fella. Uh, we got Swift Swim on this guy, and he's Adamant Nature, which is not ideal, um, because, actually, I mean, I guess Adamant would be good for poison moves, but do I get any good poison moves? Poison, poison sting. Bond says, I'm gonna sting you. You best watch out. Whatever, it's Quill Shark, as a Quill Shark, it's gonna be solid. Now we're calling it a stream. Peace out.